Hey, what's going on YouTube? iDevice Help here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Siri on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation, which is the iPod that I'm using in this video, uh, in iOS 6.1. Now, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Siri port onto the device, and also I'll be sharing a few servers that are available right now. They're not that reliable. They don't work 100% of the time, but you might get a few answers from them and enjoy them a while. I am working with a developer to try to get a series server uh, running uh, that works at least 90% of the time. So just be patient. I'll have another video on that once I get that available. Uh, but for now, I'm going to share you the port and the server. As you can see here, my iPod Touch is running Siri. And let me go ahead and ask one more question here quick. What's the weather? There we go. Again, it's a little slow and sometimes not dependable. So you can see there it's kind of slow. But again, you can try these servers for yourself. There it is, the weather and everything. Again, iPod Touch, fourth generation. Now, of course, you must be jailbroken in order to do this. Uh, if you haven't jailbroken, check out my jailbreak video over on my YouTube channel. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into Cydia. You're going to be needing to add two sources and both of these sources will be in the video description down below so make sure you read the video description so you can copy and paste them into Cydia if you're watching on mobile make sure you let Cydia finish loading before you attempt anything so let uh, Cydia completely load uh, or else you won't be able to download it I won't because I've already did of course now the first uh, source you need to add of course you go into your source a manage source section here and you're going to go ahead and um, on the right top corner of the source section let's wait here for city to load up all right on the top section here on the right of course you hit the edit and add for those of you that don't know uh, you add the source right there again this both sources will be in the video description down below so make sure you read that the first uh, the first source is this one up top here uh, you want to scroll down until you find uh, acid Siri right there acid Siri 6.1 now this version is for the iPhone 4 and iPod touch fourth generation all right and the one below of course if you have an iPhone 3GS so make sure you download the correct one for your device so once you download that the second source you're going to be adding again will be in the video description down below uh, will be the iHack store repo right here and you want to scroll down to the uh, Siri section and you want to install Siri DR as you can see there with the one with the green arrow here Siri DR alright so now once you install the uh, the port it will ask you to reboot and once you install the Siri DR uh, it will also ask you to reboot so once both uh, I've done rebooting and downloading both software you should have Siri and this application here on the left uh, with the Siri microphone image on it now uh, here are their servers inside this application here you can jump into this uh, application they have five free servers again that you can try out uh, and the way you try this out is uh, first you want to download the certificate you click on the download certificate and you must do it in this order uh, to get the best results so once you down uh, go ahead and click on download certificate you want to scroll down and find out which of uh, the servers you want to use I'm going to use the uh, the first or the last one here on the bottom the Siri uh, port ru now this particular server you have to scroll down here on this web page and you want to zoom in down here where these blue and red letters are and you want to click on that install button I'm not going to of course because I've already did now once you install that it's going to take you into settings and it's going to install a profile now every time you install a new server if one's not working for you you must go into general and remove the old proxy if you don't want to use the, the one you install to test a different one so right there it is mine's installed the one I want to use and once you install that you go back into the application this is the second step and then you click on the one that you just installed for the URL to be set up on your device I'm not going to do that again because my device is already set up and then you hit the respring button your device will respring now the third step you go back into settings scroll down and right here where it says Siri uh, DR settings you want to go there and then you hit Siri settings you want to enable it and once you enable it you want to make sure you select your language and all that go back and respring so three simple steps to try out these servers and then the Siri port of course is in the source that we discussed earlier once that's done you should have Siri up and running on your device again not these servers are not 100% reliable at all times 
uh, but uh, like I said, I've been I'm going to be working on the server with some developers to see if we can get that happen. I will have a video update as soon as that becomes available, and I'll also have more servers in the video description as they become available for iOS 6.1. So let's go ahead and try Serial one more time, see if it's working right now. What time is it? So there you go, as you can see there, it's taking a long time to load. I don't think it's going to give me an answer. At the beginning of the video, it was working perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, the re uh, servers are not 100% reliable, but there you guys have it. That is the C report for iOS 6.1, a few servers you can try as well. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more updates. Make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, as uh, more servers become available, I will add them in the video description down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. All the links will be down below as well. So don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. Make sure you like this video if it helped you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.